and now it has forced us to go back to LED, using LED. In Malmö in 2013 we decided to do a pixel free show uh, and we based it all on, on projection and we were quite surprised to see the shows after that coming back with LED and we were like okay maybe it wasn't that cool we thought it was cool uh, when I first saw the stage set up for this year's show we we looked into doing the, the whole video part of it it's a massive surface of a uh, massive canvas of, of video and we, we were investigating ways of, of solving it with back projection because we wanted that soft um, high definition image that LED naturally doesn't give you but there was just no way we could do it um, so we decided okay let's go back to LED and pixels and spend a lot of time and eventually money on finding a surface that we could put in front of mm -hmm. the LED. We were looking for something that was black, high gloss and diffused so we could eliminate the pixels and we found this new material that is absolutely amazing. Every, every square meter of the LED wall is covered with it. It, it softens the picture in a, in a beautiful way and you don't get that technical look that LED gives you. It improves the value of the show, the quality of the show and the, the entertainment in the show, of course. It's also one of those things, when this idea was presented by, by Russia, I, I said it's like, well, there's no way we can do this content. You have to do it yourself since your artist needs to rehearse with it off-site. And we had long talks about it's like, you know, what is really our standpoint for this? Are we pro or are we against this? And, and then eventually we came up to the conclusion that every country that does their content themselves frees up 24 to 36 hours for the content team mm -hmm. to spend on something else. So having now, I think it's 8 or 10 countries doing their own content has freed up a lot of time and resources for us to work more with the remaining content that needs to be done. So it, it benefits the show and it benefits the production. Um, the main challenges has been that, well naturally the ambition level has been extremely high because our mission is here is to outdo what we did in 2013 and to take it to yet another level of production value. Um, parallel with we're having all these delegations with very specific demands and complicated demands. We have holograms done with Mucian foil, we have holograms, holograms we have uh, UK coming with 108 moving lights mounted to their drum risers. So there's all these parameters added for unique pieces of the show. That and you know you don't you, you don't program 108 moving lights and make them pretty in, in five minutes. It takes mm. takes a long long time to do. It. And that has been a challenge to be able to manage and comprehend all that additional stuff that we usually don't have. Um, they suck. <laughs> it's the core team in this has it's pretty more or less the same as in Malmo, and and that's um, it's a wonderful thing that we were it was very unique. We were allowed to do Eurovision yet again, only for years after we did last time. So we still had it fresh in our memories. Yeah. Uh, all the people were available that was involved last time. So we could put together the same creative team and the same line managers in the technical department and uh, just pick up where we, where we left it mm -hmm. at, in 2013. So mm -hmm. we've been able to do a lot of shortcuts in this production. And I think that's one of the major reasons why we could allow ourselves to bring in holograms and hologos and additional moving lights and bungee mm. jump ropes mm. and God knows what it is. Yeah, and, and, and I, I'm super happy to hear that people actually notice that there is a difference um, between working with a team that has never done Eurovision and then working with a team that where 
we have so much Eurovision experience within this team is ridiculous. I mean, it's it's over a thousand years of, of experience if you combine it all. Uh, you know, and, and no other country has that. It's a very unique thing for Sweden because we went around Europe and did a bunch of Eurovision. We haven't only done the ones in our country, we've done in five or six countries abroad as well. So, the joke of today is, Lee, mm -hmm. how many Mexicans does it take to screw in a light bulb? No, how many? One.